Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox, and if you're new, welcome. Today I am working with the Daily Doodle Travel Planner Bundle. In this bundle, you will receive this really nice mint colored cover with pockets and a flap in the front. It has four elastic bindings down the middle to hold your notebooks, a pocket in the back, as well as another place to tuck things in, and then it's all looped together with an elastic. This bundle also comes with more notebooks. So the one it comes with is blank automatically, but you will get free two extra notebooks with grid paper. I'm just gonna find the center and tuck it into one of the elastics. And then the third notebook that you get to complete the set has a dot grid. And then I will tuck that in as well. So there are many things that you can use these. Some people call them planners. Some people call them traveler's notebooks. There's a little loop for your pen and that sits nicely and it closes really well. It's concealed. It stays in. It doesn't take up a lot of space. It fits perfectly in there. So you can use this as a planner. Some people make calendars out of them. You can print a lot of inserts that you can make little notebooks yourself and you can actually have calendars inside. You can make your own calendars using the grids that are provided in the notebooks in this bundle. Or you can use it to make lists, jot down ideas, record books you've read over the year, um, put down your favorite quotes, use it as an art journal, a junk journal, like to collect little odds and ends. So what I'm going to do with mine is I am going to create a pocket page. So I'm going to use a 12 by 12 piece of paper from the main squeeze crate paper bundle that Polka Dot Mailbox has available. And I'm going to use it to just fold up a piece of the paper and create little pockets inside the planner. So when I first did it, I was like, okay, I have to make the hearts go upright for when I put it all together. And then I realized they're upside down on the other page. So it had to become the interior page. So I flipped it up so that the pink is on the outside now. And then that mint green hearts are on the inside. So it was really fun. This is the first time I've ever made one of these little pocket pages and I'm just gonna glue down the sides. So the idea is that it could sit in one of the elastics on its own or it could wrap around one of the notebooks to act as a cover. When you put it around one of the notebooks, it's kind of neat because the front page is in the front of the book, it's the first thing you see when you open it up, it's happy and joyful and fun. And you can actually do a lot of layers without having to worry about writing on top of it because there's no other books that go on place of this one. And then you can change it out. So I've made a Valentine's Day one here. Here you'll see me actually using a um, scrap of Happy Mail packaging that Miss Valley gave me in our latest Happy Mail and she had this pink doily that was a perfect shade of pink and since most of it gets covered anyway I thought I'll rip it off even though some of it will tear and it'll be a good backdrop and then I'm just going to go through the main squeeze ephemera and pick out some of the pieces that I really like from the collection to go with this so I don't want to make specific Valentine's themed but I'm making it more love themed and I pick my favorite pieces from the ephemera which again was that pineapple that you've seen me work with before I really like and the um, <laughs> the colors are all just subtle and they all sort of coordinate and they're cute so I just fiddle around with placing some ephemera here and there and I'm going to glue it all in place and add some other layers. But like I was saying, you can use these for any number of different projects. You can use it as a planner. You could use it as 
a way to write grocery lists. It can be as simple as a place to scratch things down that you think. Here's a good example. My husband wanted me to find a number that I had called a long time ago. Well, I know I wrote it down somewhere, but if you write it on a scrap of paper and then you throw it away, then you can't call that number back. But if you have all your things jotted down in a book like this, you can reference back to them. So since there's three different categories or three different notebooks, you could go ahead and make a number of different categories. One could be home, one could be work, one could be school for the kids or activities for the kids. I'm using my Heidi Swap Color Shine there that I found in my haul. If anybody watched my thrift store haul, I found that brand new bottle of Heidi Swap Color Shine in gold, which worked great. I had to wait for it to dry, which actually was a good thing because it made me go ahead and add some extra details on the tags there. I'm not sure that I would have done so otherwise, but in the end, it made sense to add the uh, little ribbon to the top of that tag that I had stitched around. And then there's another little tag that I have peeking out off to the left, and I'm going to put a little ribbon tab on there as well. That one spot of color shine on that tag took forever to dry and in the end I ended up going and getting my heat gun to just completely ensure that it was dry. I think because it was such a thick spot where all the other ones dried very quickly that one really was being stubborn and I didn't want to put it into my book with even a remote chance that it might get some gold onto the rest of the cover so I went ahead and I dried that with my heat tool. I don't show that in the video. And then in the end, it didn't even dry perfectly uniform, so I covered it up with a little gold heart, which looked cute. And um, it was just a little subtle detail. So I'll let you watch the rest of the video. This it was a really fun project to do. I like that you can create these covers and then you can have different themed ones if you wanted to change it out so that when it's Christmas time, it's a Christmas theme when you open the book or Valentine's Day when it's Valentine's Day. You can do it like that or you can just do it like this doesn't have to be for Valentine's Day. It's just cute little loving type theme like there's some hearts and it says just love but it doesn't say happy valentine's day specifically so you could use that that's a bella boulevard um feather that i've had in my stash for a while i really enjoy using them on projects every now and again they add a nice level of texture one of the things i was trying to do with this book that i've noticed myself lately not add too much bulk to different layers and try to add more texture through layers so that it doesn't make my journal stand out like <laughs> way too much where I can't add anything else inside. So that was my goal with this was to keep it as flat as possible and you'll see that I don't add any foam adhesive where I usually would in a project like this, if I was making like a tag flip, I would definitely have popped up the XOXO and the Just Love. That all would have been raised up, but because I'm trying to keep things flat, and this was pretty flat in comparison to most of my um, work. So I didn't use any like 3D chipboard. I didn't use any um, yeah pop dots or even puffy stickers. I kept everything as flat as I could. Well, as I say that, I just put on a puffy sticker, but it's pretty subtle. So I'm just going to decorate up the inside pockets. So those pockets can be used to house little, um, so you can do a number of things. You can use it to house things that you want to decorate your pages in your notebook with, or you can use it as a way to store receipts or tickets or little pieces of memorabilia that you would like to keep and have a record of and then you could maybe 
glue those into a scrapbook or into this daily doodle planner itself any number of ways you can do it I was at first very confused by planners and journals and travelers notebooks and it didn't make sense to me and there's a whole world out there that I'm still very new to but I think what I most have discovered out of this is that you can basically use it for whatever you want. You can put the title of any number of different things on this little book, but basically use it to suit your purposes. It's a way to create and have fun and maybe it's for memory keeping, maybe it's to keep yourself organized, maybe it's to plan things out, to have a calendar, to make lists, to keep track of things. But whatever you use it for is individual to you. And I'm looking forward to having one of these little books. There are lots of things that I write down. I'm not a real list writer. I'm not the type of person that will write a list and check things off and get stuff done. If I think of it, I do it. Like I'm a doer. <laughs> like Let's get stuff done. So for me, writing a list down almost seems like a waste of time. It's like, oh, I'd rather just be doing it rather than writing it. And I know there's some times where you just can't do everything all at once that you're thinking of. But that's what the cover looks like. So you can see how I tucked that notebook inside the... Um, little folder that I've made and then it becomes the front and the back and so it adds a different layer of interest to the book so you first would see that cover page then you would have the notebook and then at the end you would have the additional pocket with a back cover and I kept the back cover simple, again, because I want to be able to write on the papers that are inside. So I don't want too many layers. And I can tuck things in. For now, I've just tucked in some stickers and stuff. And then I can put some ephemera here in the little pockets to decorate so that when I open up my book, it's just really inviting and super fun and just makes me want to be creative and in just I just enjoy seeing that so I think it would be fun because you can change that scene the one reason why I chose the mint green planner was because it was very subtle and I feel like it really matches a lot of different collections so this is the main squeeze crepe paper and you can see how perfectly it has that mint green in it and it's very subtle and a lot of the time that interior flap pocket people will put a piece of patterned colorful paper in behind there I didn't need to because it matched so perfectly with the background of the subtle polka dots and then the white little pockets just made it really fun and easy to decorate so thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. It really helps me to um, keep motivated to see that you guys are enjoying my videos. And uh, I thank you for watching and we'll see you again next time.